In the dictionary, characterization is described as a description of the distinctive natures or features of someone or something. In, in storytelling, this typically refers to a character's personality, and more importantly, how consistent that character's personality is throughout a story. For instance, if a character acts one way at the start of a story and acts a different way at another point in the story, that's poor characterization. If a character feels consistent throughout the whole story, that's good characterization. In comics, characterization is especially important as several characters get passed to different creative teams. This can cause a character's characterization to feel jumbled. Comics never truly end, so most writers don't have an end goal for their character, meaning they stay frozen in time, which makes development and characterization difficult. Even the most famous characters have trouble with characterization thanks to shifting story tones, different writers, visions, and poor editing in comics. Generally, the older the character, the more difficult it can be to nail down the definite version of that character since they've been written by so many different people. A character I feel, even at his lowest points, has always had strong characterization as Tim Drake, my personal favorite Robin. Tim is a smart kid with a resilient spirit and a detective's mind to the point that even Batman sees him as the world's greatest detective. Tim is not a gifted fighter, which is why he uses his bow staff and gadgets. Tim is motivated, he wants to prove that he's worthy of being Batman's sidekick and live up to the legacy of Jason Todd. In his adult years, Tim pulls off a difficult move for characters in comics, and he develops. He goes from wanting to be Batman's sidekick to being his own man, much like Dick Grayson before him. Tim decides he wants to save the world his way, not Batman's way. And unlike several comic book characters who develop, the development isn't done away with. Tim has stayed like this for almost a decade, working to save the world his way. I'm not actually sure how Tim managed to swing this. He's been passed around just as much as Batman and Superman have. Maybe it's the amount of time we know Dick before he becomes Robin. Tim is introduced in Batman number 436 and doesn't become Robin until Batman number 457. That's 21 issues of showing Tim's work with Batman, his relationship with Bruce, Alfred, and Dick, and how he sees the legacy of Robin before he finally dons the suit. And after that, Tim spins off into his own series, having solo adventures and going around the world helping people before joining teams like Young Justice and Teen Titans. Tim has had a myriad of stories where, even at his lowest points, we see that he's still the same character no matter who's writing him. It's impressive. Even characters like Superman and Batman have trouble actually being consistent thanks to different writers and different story tones. DC was clearly insistent on pushing Tim as a character since people didn't tend to like Jason Todd back then, and it clearly worked. As a result, Tim's character in subsequent stories has been consistent, and that's important and impressive for a character that's almost 30 years old. Some even newer characters who have had less people working on them still struggle to find their footing, like Kamala Khan and Riri Williams, in terms of what their personality actually is. And it's important to distinguish different characters, especially when they share the same mantle. This is why Wally West's Flash is different from Barry Allen's Flash. Well, at least until the New 52 hit. This is why Amadeus Cho's Hulk was a lot more jokey than Bruce Banner's Hulk. They're different characters, so they need to be able to be distinguished from the different characters, or else changes and mantle passings don't make any sense. Tim should be a beacon to comic writers um, in terms of writing a character's characterization. They should go back to all the characters' past stories, find out what makes them what they are, pick the best and worst traits, figure out what they need for their story, and make sure it all fits within the character's context. This isn't easy, but nothing worth doing is easy. Hey guys, um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to share, leave a like. This was a bit of a shorter one. I didn't have a whole list of points I wanted to cover. I just had this one little thing I wanted to talk about. So, I don't know, maybe we'll do that with um, every other few, every few videos. We'll have a bigger video, but I think most of them are going to be pretty short like this one, if that's okay with you guys. Um, that Spider-Man one I had been thinking about for a long time. That's why it was so long and so detailed. Um... Tim is sort of a character that I always liked, but I never could put into words why, and I wanted to talk about him, and I found out why I like him so much. Um, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Like I said, leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, all those things, and uh, peace out.